here with Gary Barnett, founder and CEO of Extel Development. Gary, thank you so much for being with The Real Deal. I wanted to, maybe we'll just dive into the market for construction financing. You just closed a close to a billion dollar construction loan on the Upper West Side. How challenging is it now as, let's say, compared to three or four years ago? Um, I, yeah, probably four years ago it was easy to get financing. Everybody was excited about the market. Then, of course, we had COVID that slowed things down. I think the market's tough to get financing depending on the product. And, of course, we're seeing a sharp interest uh, rate increase. Things are a little more challenging, but thank God we've been able to get good financing. I think over the last uh, year and a half or so, since beginning of 21, I think we've either financed or refinanced about $4 billion worth of product. So we've been fortunate to be able to get financing. And you've been quite creative in the ways you've gotten financing. You've gone from everywhere, from EB-5 money to Tel Aviv bond money. Are those sources of capital, the foreign sources of capital, are you finding them drying up a little bit? Because I noticed your new loan is, is OZK, right? Well, we uh, haven't done any new EB-5 uh, money for years, and uh, um, the uh, stock bond market, we've raised only a small amount. We've actually paid back close to $500 million of bond debt for, uh, from our own resources and probably only borrowed another, I don't know, 100 or something like that. So net, we've paid back a lot of debt on the bond market. Uh, but we still look at you know those uh, that as a potential resource down the road. Um, is it worth the headache of sort of filing as a public company and going through all that? I think we're we've been pretty okay with it. We we don't mind transparency, and I think it's it's worked well. And we would we consider that as as one of our possible avenues of financing. It is a good resource. EB five maybe maybe coming back and limited uh, possibilities now. We'll see how that works out. Looking ahead, where we're at with four twenty one A. What is your biggest concern? Are you are you optimistic about a resolution to, to this program? Look, I think uh, th there's a desperate need for affordable housing in the city. 421A has created, you know, t many tens of thousands of affordable homes, maybe over a hundred thousand over the years. So, very very important feature. It does not cost the city anything. All of this is is you know whatever tax abatements were in place. Uh, was basically additional. So you didn't get additional tax revenue, but it didn't cost the city anything. It's a canard to say it cost the city. And of course, over time, the tax abatements burn off. I'll ask you one last question. Of all the components of development, the assemblage and the buying, the, the construction and development, the selling, what's the thing that sort of most gets your juices going? What's your favorite part of the process? Um, most of it is, uh, is extremely hard and frustrating and it's tough to develop large buildings in New York City. I, I do like the design process and the creative process and um, that's kind of the only thing I like about it. <laughs> Gary, thank you so much.